Hi, everybody. I'm Christian Overland, the Ruth and Hartley Barker Director and CEO of the Wisconsin Historical Society. We just finished the state finals for the National History Day contest, and I wanted to bring you up to speed about where we are, where we've been. First of all, we had a great turnout across the state at our regional in-person contests. Whether you were in Madison, Milwaukee, Eau Claire, Green Bay, or Stevens Point, thank you for all participating in those in-person contests. But then as you all know, we had the COVID-19 pandemic that hit us and the school closure started. So we did an online version of the contest. Our education team worked with many of the teachers and the judges to turn that out. And we were at Manaqua online as well as lacrosse online. And even the state finalists were online. So we had over 1,700 people participate, 1,168 projects that were completed and judged, which is amazing. And then we had all of the issues we had to deal with. And I want to thank you for your perseverance, whether it was like struggling to get your exhibits from school because I know the school closure, or there was bandwidth issues with the internet, or even the scheduling processes, but you persevered and you came through. Congratulations. Now on to the national event. I want to thank the parents, the guardians, the teachers, the volunteers, and the students who all worked on this project. I also want to thank the staff of the Wisconsin Historical Society and the staff of the Wisconsin Historical Foundation for really pulling together. And special thanks to our education team to making all this happen too. Special congratulations to the students, right? You persevered, you did it. And the teachers, thank you so much for the past three weeks working on this project to get it done with all of us. You also had to deal with online teaching as well, too, and change your progression of teaching through a whole new system. So thank you for educating our students, and thank you for the great job that you continue to do for all of us. I also want to thank our donors. Our donors did a terrific job making this happen and supporting us. The Carol Heidman Foundation, Jane Bradley Pettit Foundation, George and Jane Schinner's Charitable Trust, Wisconsin Society for the Mayflower Descendants, the Richard G. Jacobus Foundation, and of course, the Friends of the Wisconsin Historical Society. Thank you all for making this happen. I also think, you know, because it was a virtual contest, had many challenges, I want to give a special thanks to our judges, those who came back year after year, and also the new judges. Without you, we could not make this happen. So, again, congratulations to the Wisconsin finalists. Good luck at Nationals. We look forward to your success. And above all, go Team Wisconsin!